long as you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve, then no problem can be that tough. There is a need to develop relevant science and math curriculum to inspire our young people to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics career. The Philippines needs to increase its science and technology human resources so that it can develop sustainable economic growth. I think my greatest challenge is to help people in the organization manage the change. When you introduce a new concept, a new idea, or a new technology, there will always be reactions. So it needs a lot of skills for a leader to put people on board your vision so that they can become active players in finding solutions to these challenges. I was then a science research teacher and I was one of the 4,000 nominees from all over the world who competed at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair teaching competition. And eventually, I was chosen as one of the five grand finalists. We competed in the U.S., we showed our innovations for teaching, answered interviews, and finally, I emerged as the grand winner. I believe that being a woman helps me to make my message to promote education more effective because being a woman, they look at me also as a mother. And in our country, we perceive mothers to be more nurturing, compassionate, and loving. Since more educators in the Philippines are women, they can easily empathize with me and my message. To all aspiring leaders out there, continue to pursue your passion, develop your skills and potential to the fullest, and please use these talents, skills, and opportunities to help build our nation.